Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I do fountain pens and ink and paper reviews. And today it's a fountain pen, but it is not just any fountain pen. First, it is made by a fountain pen maker in India that does superb work with ebonite and acrylics and just knocks it out of the park with a lot of their pens. And this one is kind of exceptional among their catalog. This is the Ranga Splendor, and I'm having to hold it back because this pen is huge. It reminds me of Groucho Marx and his cigars, but it's bigger than that. It's it's bigger, it's maybe bigger than my head. When I hold it here, where I would normally hold a pen to show you, it doesn't even fit in the frame. Just to give you an idea, because it's hard to relay size sometimes, but just check that pen out. Beautiful acrylic, as we'll see as we go over the design of the pen. Writes really well, as we will see when we go through the writing test. And even though it's just it's gigantic, isn't it? Even though it's such a big pen, you may be thinking, I have no need for any gigantic pen in my collection. I am going to share with you why I think this pen actually does deserve a place in your collection and is a far more usable and awesome pen than you might first think. Let's flip that camera and dive right in. I had to get all my equipment back out because I wanted to edit this in before we get into the design of the pen. When I received this pen, it came packaged, and I wish I had taken a video of the unboxing because this is hand-sewn uh, cotton fabric. It was very well packaged when it came from India, and then inside the package, this hand-sewn cotton fabric bag contained the pen box and it's a very nice pen box it's it's fabric over cardboard with a snap and you have your pen in a plastic sleeve they give you a complimentary Oliver piston filled pen I'll have to share a review of that sometime as well and then uh, their card and information and this uh, little elastic band to keep the pen in place. But I loved, loved the touch of it being hand sewn in this uh, cotton bag with uh, the, the address and everything on the other side. Just, just kind of a neat touch. All right, this is the Ranga Splendor. And just look at that acrylic. They have a reputation of having some beautiful acrylics available to them and ebonite. They have acrylic, premium acrylic, ebonite, and premium ebonite. And uh, they do a great job with all of them. This is such a well-made pen. And that was the reputation that they had. And so that is what I expected. And they did not let me down in any way whatsoever. It's just, check that out, just very nicely done. Very simple shape on this pen. So this is the rounded Splendor. I think you can get this with a conical end as well, but this is the rounded and you will notice that it tapers to a smooth, rounded, well-polished end here and then tapers toward the grip section, which I will show you in just a second. And all of that works to make this ergonomically a very comfortable pen to write with. The cap comes to this very well done tight seam, this clip that is very functional, a little bit stiff, but quite functional, although although really too large for a shirt pocket for most people. Uh, it's going to be a little bit ungainly just because of the size, but the clip is functional and works well. And then you come to this rounded finial at the top of the pen. All of it really well done and showing off that really beautiful acrylic. When you take off the cap, you will notice a couple of things. One, it is a very long cap. Second is it comes off in not even one turn. It is a three-quarter turn cap. Very fine threads. The only issue I've had with this pen is that you do have to be careful when capping the pen uh, not to cross those threads. Uh, most time it just goes right on, but every now and then you just need to be careful. But they are really well done, very fine, and lots of threads, you see. And uh, But just a quick on and off. And that, 
I know a lot of you will really like. And as I said, it is a very deep cap. There is no plastic sleeve in there, but I have had no issues with dry out whatsoever. I'm sure in part thanks to those fine mini threads that you see, but just a a huge cap. It does actually post. However, that is when this pen does become uh, unbalanced. It's going to be very uh, back weighted just because of the length, not really so much because of the weight, mainly because of the length of the pen and you've just uh, your center of gravity and all that good stuff. So there you go. Uh, the pen itself still unposted a large pen with a nice number six nib. We'll get to that in just a second, but it is a large pen. So even those of you with large hands, this is going to be unposted uh, more than enough pen for you. If you are somebody that is looking for a large pen, this this is an excellent uh, pen that you really ought to check out. And the surprising thing again is how well balanced it is. When you write with this pen, you don't think about the size of it. You start writing and you forget about it unless you think, wow, I can't believe that this is so easy to write with. This is an easy writing pen, just really, really well balanced. Now let's take a look at that nib. So I went with the Bach nib. You can get Bach, Yovo, and I think some other choices as well. I went with this because Yovo at the time for the, the size nib and the nib that I wanted, this is a medium, was out of stock and it was on the website that you would need to order Bach if you wanted one of the German nibs. That doesn't bother me at all. This is a gold-plated Bach nib and it is well-tuned and smooth and writes really well, as you'll see in the test here in just a second. Now, this is a number six. You can also get a number eight nib. That's going to be a significant uh, price bump. It was out of my budget for this pen purchase, but it is available. If that's within your budget, you may want to check out that number eight nib as well. But lots of choices. Check it out. Different materials, different uh nib sizes and things like that. There, there are lots of great choices. As we look at that nib, you will also notice that the grip section is nice and long, comes to a nice end and uh, is bell-shaped to keep you from going on down to that nib. Just gives you lots of options. For example, I've told you all before, I don't write right down at the stop. I'm kind of in the middle or higher depending on the pen. And uh, this gives you lots of room to find a spot, a sweet spot for your grip and your writing preference. And that too, I very much like. Now, we open up the pen and there are a lot of threads and silicone grease because this is an eye-dropperable pen. Now, you you would need not samples, but a, uh, a whole bottle. I don't know how much that holds, but it would be... a a pretty good amount of ink, or it is international standard cartridge and converter friendly. And this is the included, included, you get credit for that Ranga, the included uh, international standard converter, which as you can see is nearly out of ink because I have been using this pen quite a bit since I got it. And I really, really do like it. Now let's see how this pen is going to look next to some large pens in my collection. Okay, so normally I would show you the pen that I'm reviewing first for size reference, but I'm going to build up to that today. So these are some of the largest pens I have in my collection. This is the Mahjong M800, beautiful resin pen too, and a pretty good sized pen. And then I have, this is a fairly new pen to me, the Wingsung 699, and it is as well a pretty good sized pen, a little bit longer than that Majan M800. Another large pen would be the Jinhao Heritage Pen. Not quite as long as the 699, but certainly a, a large pen. And then uh, for size reference, how about we put the Birmingham 6th Avenue. This is a beautiful pen, beautiful resin. Still need to review this one. And it was kind of the overall largest pen in my collection. It doesn't want to sit still. And then, to just stop that in place, the pen that most of us know quite well as a very 
large pen, the Jinhao 159. And none of these pens hold a candle to the Ranga Splendor. Just check that out. It is, it is just a really big pen. Okay, this is the Ranga Splendor or Splendor. And it comes with a really nicely tuned, or at least mine is, medium Bach nib, number six. But as I said earlier, number eight is available if you got the budget for that. Really, really nice. And this is rhodia paper, as you can see, lined rhodia paper. And it just does nicely on here. I'm sure you could tell, just writes very, very smoothly. Um, I've had a few pens lately that have come out of the box just really well tuned. And this one, at the other is a Pilot Custom Heritage 92, just fantastic. And and just, that, that makes it so exciting when you get it out and just, you know, do a quick flush and ink up the pen and it just is everything you were hoping. The ink... Kind of forgot to do that earlier, didn't I? Is Diamine Oxford Blue. And I will say, this is one of those blues that is just becoming a staple in my collection. I really like it. Look at the saturation. Nice and wet, too. Because I didn't actually put much of a line for that. It really keeps up. In fact, let's do my uh, scribble flow test and see how the pen does. <laughs> Not an issue. I picked up here and I know I picked up somewhere right here. I picked up here. But that's just me. The pen just excelled. I, I will say, uh, of the, the pens that I've gotten recently, this would be absolutely top three when it comes to the writing experience when it comes to the appearance of the material used uh this is going to be i'm you know i'm already thinking in in my head of end of the 2022 year those pens that that i was most excited about and and surprised me the most right now this would be absolutely top of that list and it's really going to take an impressive pen to knock it from its perch. This has been so far in 2022, uh, just the funnest pen so far. Uh, it's early in the year. There could be some pretty cool knockout pens between now and the end of the year, but this, I'm just, I'm having fun with this pen. It writes so well that, uh, I have a feeling this pen is not going to be washed out and put in a, uh, a pen case anytime soon. This one is in regular rotation and I figure it will be there for a very long time. Excellent pen, Ranga. You guys did an awesome job and uh, I'm just really glad that I purchased this pen. Just fantastic. All right. Tell me what you think. Do you have experience with Ranga in general? What's your favorite model if you have more than one of theirs? And does a giant pen like this appeal to you? It, 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 it's one of those things that maybe you think it doesn't, but I'm telling you, surprisingly good pen and writing experience. All right, God bless you. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video and in the comments below. Thank you for every like, share, and subscribe.